All right, told some people I put this together. This is how to make lava, or at least the way I do it. You need your base material, which is uh, starting off with uh, white latex caulk, uh, Elmer's glue, white glue, whatever. Some acrylic paint, yellow for this purpose, plaster, and that's you're gonna need some water. Need a container to put it in. Container this size. I always go. I always go small with mine, just because it's easier to make more material than have a bunch that you waste. And then, then you're just putting. Then you're just throwing material away, and you end up with something like this. This is a. I don't know why I still have this, but you end up with something like this. So, so you're gonna waste your materials. Make batches small. Now for this, I usually use uh, two trigger pulls. And about that same amount of, uh, of white glue. Um, I'm not gonna go into long explanations on the combination of this stuff, but uh, you probably find something on a War Gamers channel, how to make goop. There's a couple of them out there that do this. And that's basically all this is. Now you gotta stir this up. This eh, should take you only about a minute or so. Should be should get it thoroughly mixed. So has a uh, creamy consistency. And then uh, adding some uh, adding some paint. <clears throat> paint. Mix that in. Okay. Now we're gonna add some water. <clears throat> I probably cleared my throat a lot because I got a frog in it. I think I'm getting sick. So bear with me if I continue to go <coughs> through the whole video. Okay, I have something that looks like yellow milk. And uh, now we start adding plaster. I have uh, that's a little cup. I add little cups at a time. It'll probably take three or four of them to get it all. When you get done, you'll have something that looks like a thick pancake batter. We'll break out our diorama. All right. All the blue areas here, there's black paint and stuff. I've had to build a dam here on the back. And, uh,. Because I'm going to have it going to the back and then I've got this uh, going down the channel and it'll go into a pool down here at the end and I had to make a dam for the back of that too. That cardboard will come off when I'm done but all right then I just spoon it in and you can see it's not the thickest stuff in the world I actually could probably stand and have a little more plaster in this but I just uh, spoon it in and I make sure I get it into the sides, all the way up to the edges. And like I said, always can make more, so which I probably will end up having to do because I don't think this is going to cover completely anyway. I use a spoon, it gives me pretty good control. You could use a paintbrush or a stick or anything. This allows you to get it up into the little nooks and crannies and you can take and you know, splatter this And what we'll do once place. it starts to dry, and this is where I start getting all that rippling effect is, I'll take my spoon. Now if this is thicker, it'd go a lot easier. I'll have to wait for this to start setting up some. That's why I say you should have it thick. You just go through and start making uh, ripples and stuff in there. Now even this will work. 
And when this dries up, all those edges will you better dry brush those up real nice. But since this is so still very, very thin, I should have put more plaster in it, but I'll just have to hit it later on or add another coat of plaster to it to bring it up some. But you just want to texture it by running the so like that and see those waves and the ripples and you can do all kinds of designs in here just want to make it look like some kind of a flow through here and then after this dries that's when you go to paint and that's what will be next all right a little add on here I had to go back in because like a big dummy I did exactly what um, I said not to do and to mix it too uh, too thin so if you end up mixing it real thin and before you realize you start pouring in there the easiest way is after about an hour or so of it sitting around to start to set up and just go in with something thin like a uh, nail or handle of a paintbrush or something like that and just go in and you know just stir it up and because you want it to dry with some ridges and stuff that way it dry brushes up real nice and everything so just Go in and churn it up a bit. And it'll start to when it dries, you'll have these ridges and stuff that will hold paint real well. And so and if this uh, sets up. We'll do some painting.